Hello, I'm Sibran Dijkstra, I'm the CEO of DJ Studio and I'm going to show you the integration of DJ Studio with Beatport streaming service and Beatport shopping. It's an ideal try before you buy combination. Well, the cool thing with DJ Studio and Beatport streaming is that you have unlimited access to all streaming Beatport music. You can play around, you can create your ideal mix and at the end, when you say, this is my ideal mix, we can help you legalize this mix. We create a shopping cart for you and you can buy the tracks on Beatport, only the tracks that you have used in your mix. And then you can export that mix to Mixcloud or to YouTube, or you can create a local WAV file of it, or you can even export it to Ableton Live. In the home screen of DJ Studio, you see a new option called Beatport. This is Beatport streaming. So once you open it, you get two options. The option to log in with your existing account or to create a new account. If you don't have a Beatport streaming account yet, you can get a discount code for two months free Beatport streaming. That's really cool. It gives you all the time to play with millions of tracks and see how cool it is what I'm gonna show you in this video. I already have a Beatport streaming account for years. So in this case, I log in with my existing account. This is the Beatport ad track screen. In this screen, you see all Beatport familiar genres, but you also see your own playlists on the left. You see your purchase tracks. You see I'm already a user for years where you can listen to these tracks that you have bought, uh, preview them, and you can decide to add these tracks to your mix. Let's add some more tracks and have a look for my favorite artist, Tiesto. And here you see the tracks of Tiesto. Again, I can listen to the tracks in here. I can preview them and I can decide to add these to my mix as well. Another cool thing is that you can favorite tracks in here. By uh, favoriting these tracks, you can let them automatically add them to your offline library. In the offline library, you see the tracks that you can use without having an internet connection. A really cool feature of Beatport. And you're allowed to add 1000 tracks to this offline library. Next to the Beatport streaming catalog index, we also have another cool index. At 1001 track lists, you can look for gigs that are played recently by your favorite artist. And here you can look at the gig he played in Las Vegas and we will convert the 1001 tracklist page into Beatport streaming tracks. So here you see he made a mashup of these two songs. You can again preview the songs in here. And if you like the tracks, you simply uh, select them in here and add them to your mix. Again, a really cool feature for music discovery. And of course, we have another cool integration and that's Spotify. What we can do, we can convert a Spotify playlist into a list of Beatport streaming tracks. And I'd like to add these classics to my DJ studio. Well, have a look. If I grab this playlist in here and I'll drop it into DJ studio, we will convert them for you to Beatport streaming tracks. And here you see the Tiesto tracks. So I can now uh, simply select uh, the tracks I'd like to add to my mix as well. And I created my ideal Tiesto set. Ordering your playlist is a lot of work and finding out which track goes with which track. We have something for you that is called Automix. Automix helps you order your playlist in a perfect harmonic way. So the playlist in here, you see we have a key notation that's the Camelot key notation. And you all know you can go plus one, minus one, plus two, minus two, and there are some other interesting things you can do in the Camelot wheel. So we have codes for it and a perfect match, a perfect drop, a perfect boost, etc. I can play the business in here and the business is streamed from Beatport Streaming. And if you want, you can repitch it. Let's, let's get down. <laughs> you know, if you repitch the song, it can come into a key that is compatible with the track you want to play it with. Here you see when I change the key, it will show the compatibility with the other songs. You can drag songs around and see if you can make them compatible. But you know you have the key and you have the tempo. 
In the bottom, you see the uh, tempo as well. It goes up, it goes down. Uh, we need to order it. Let's press auto mix. Auto mix can mix your playlist based on key or based on tempo or somewhere in the middle. I'd like to set it somewhere in the middle. And we have transition settings for you. So we can already set your preferred transition type in the position you'd like to have it. Well, for me, I say let's put everything automatically and playlist ordering is based on BPM or on key. Well, let's do it somewhere in the middle. Let's auto mix. We give the algorithm 30 seconds to come up with the best possible list. And because this video is taking so long, we shortened it up a little bit for you. So 265 million playlist combinations. You see over here the color code and you see the compatibility and woohoo, we have a perfect, perfect ordered playlist. Going up, going down a little bit and uh, you are ready to start playing with your mix. Because the list is already ordered harmonically perfect, you don't need to worry about clashing off-tone tracks. You can simply start working on your transitions. That's why we go to the studio. And here in the studio, you see your tracks. And let's uh, play the transition. And the music is coming, streaming from Beatport. Okay, let's put this in a more interesting place. I can drag my track and I'll drag it to this yellow position. This is the bass swap. Let's see how this sounds. Okay, sounds okay. Um, I can create some tension by leaving out two beats. That's nice. Maybe I'd like to have some white noise riser uh, just before the new bass kicks in. And here is the nice riser. Let's have a listen now. Perfect. Once you have finished your whole mix, you can share your creation with the world. And now you have a few options. The first one, publish. With publish, you can publish your mix you created to the DJ Studio Beatport streaming community. That's a lot of words. But what it means is that you can share your mix with other DJ Studio users who also have a Beatport streaming subscription. Let's use my own picture. There's an interesting option, allow remixing. When you switch this on, other users are not only able to listen to your mix, they're also able to see the source of your mix. Here we have the Beatport community. And in this Beatport community, you see my new Beatport demo mix that I just shared. And here you see lots of uh, DJs who already shared their mixes. So here you see the mix I just published to the Beatport community within DJ Studio. This mix, here you see the index of uh, the mix and I can uh, listen to the mix I created. Over here you see the remix button and when you press the remix button you will open the source of the mix created by another DJ that can inspire you and can show you how you can create this mix yourself. The second option, legalize. Beatport streaming is streaming and you're not allowed to record your audio in any way. But we could legalize the mix. And with legalized mix, we mean that we go to the Beatport shop and we buy the tracks that we have used in this mix. So what we now do, we look in your mix and from the 26 tracks that I have used in my mix, there are 14 that I don't own already. We will create a shopping cart for you and in this shopping card you see the 14 tracks that are missing. I can buy all these tracks at the Beatport shop and do a checkout on the Beatport store. I have my PayPal account connected and here you see I bought all the tracks. In DJ Studio I can tell that I bought the 14 tracks in the Beatport shop. So it now tells me that the 26 tracks are all bought and I can add them to my mix but they're not all in the library. So we need to re-download these tracks from Beatport and we help you with that. So we have a button, download tracks on Beatport. Again, here are all the tracks that I didn't have in my library, but that I bought already on Beatport. The only thing I now need to do is select all the tracks and 
download them as one big zip file. Once the download is ready, you go back to DJ Studio and in the bottom over here, import the downloaded files into DJ Studio. So what we now do is adding all the tracks from the zip file I just downloaded from the Beatport store and we add them to the local files library. So now we have bought the 26 tracks, we legalized them and we copied your Beatport streaming project to a local files project. So here is my same Beatport demo project, but now it's a legalized project and it consists local files. If I go to export, now I am able to export it to a WAV file, for example, or to a YouTube video. And now I can export it to an Ableton project file. Ableton also needs local files to work with. Or I can even create a YouTube video of it or upload it to Mixcloud. And another really cool thing is that we can export your mix you created in DJ Studio where you have set the transition points to the perfect spot to Rekordbox for you. Let's start Rekordbox. So in Rekordbox, you go to your playlists, you scroll down to the last playlist, there's the Beatport demo. You see exactly the hot cues that we have created. So the only thing you need to do is place the first track in the left deck, the second track in the right deck. Let's beat sync and make this the master and beat sync this one. So they're both lined up. So let's say that we are somewhere over here. The only thing I now need to do is start the B at the right moment. Here we go. The B is started and at the C you can do the start of the transition. Here is the C. At the D you do the bass swap and after the D you have the E to finish your transition. So now you have seen the integration of DJ Studio with Beatport Streaming and Beatport Shop and Rekordbox. How cool is that?